So it has been like a week since I last did like a day in the life. Actually, I think it's been a little bit longer. I don't know. Um, it's been a not so good week for us, um, but I'm not going to really dwell on it. It's been, it's just been a really hard time. Um, so I didn't really want to document that. I know I tell you guys everything all the time, but it's just, you know, there's some things that, I don't know, that we want to keep to ourselves. But anyways, so it is the weekend. It is Saturday. It is 2.07. We just dropped our kids off at my mom and dad's house because it has been like three weeks since John and I have been away from our children. Uh, probably longer than that for me, but, um... We wanted to go and do like lunch. John's got a gift card to Olive Garden, so we're gonna go just have a nice lunch, me and him, because we couldn't celebrate his birthday a few weeks ago. Because as you guys know, Kaya decided, not decided, but she had her fibril seizure, and we were in the emergency room on his birthday. And then that weekend was kind of just like lost because we were, you know, so worried about her and keeping an eye on her. So we're gonna go out to lunch at Olive Garden. I don't know if we're gonna do anything else other than that. We only have like two and a half hours. But then after that, uh, we'll go home and then get the kids ready because my parents want to take us out for dinner for John's birthday so this is kind of nice because I don't have to cook all day long and you guys know if you're a mom it's really nice not to have to cook that lady didn't have the right away I don't know why she honked I think you because you were trying to turn right and she wanted to turn left in front of you but the left doesn't have the right away hand turn doesn't interfere with the right I know turn. that's what I'm saying I don't know why she was honking at you is I what I was saying I think she was honking at her boyfriend oh <laughs> anyways so <laughs> that's what we'll be doing there's John say hi John I think she honked at her boyfriend hi everybody this is John that's John so I'm driving he's wearing a new shirt and new pants and new pants and my Crocs and your Crocs <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a nice sweater nice pants yeah. and Crocs um that's purple. that's what like my I do like your purple sweater. Do you guys like his purple sweater? It's more like a mulled purple, it's like a wine gray. purple color. The wall of wonder. Because people will wonder what we're no doing idea. behind the wall. There's, always, there's too many bad things to get here. Too many bad things? Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you two doing? Good. She moved my cave of, or my wall of wonder, John. She moved it. She knew I was doing something sneaky behind here. Are you gonna get salad? Why not? So you're saying you want me to get a salad so you can have some of my salad, because they always give a big salad. You're such a punk. He's like, yes. He always, he always steals my food. He always says, don't get that. And I'm like, why? He's like, because I don't want to eat that after you're done. <laughs> keeps moving my wall of wonder. She moved it again. Anyways, on our second day together, he told me not to, he purposely told me not to finish my dinner. And I asked him why, and he said because he wanted to take him home for leftovers for lunch the next day. That's how romantic he was to me back then. But I ate all my food. Yes, I did. We went to that Thai place. Um, you had ordered something different than I did. I liked yours better, so I asked you not to eat it all, so I could have some. Still shady. Shady. I don't know what I'm going to eat. So I really had a craving for bruschetta, so I'm having bruschetta, and John's stealing half my salad as planned. This is my salad. Oh yeah, you got soup and salad, didn't you? And then I got the uh, seafood alfredo that John will probably steal some. I love their salad for some reason. It's so good. It's a dressing. Why are you making one of me? Okay. <laughs> we just got done with lunch. It was good lunch. I had a good lunch. I was happy because I don't mind paying dinner prices, but I hate dinner portion sizes because I can never finish them. So I was really excited because we got there at a time where they were like still serving the lunch portions. So it was good food, and then John let me get, um, John, you just got it. Yeah. I got it. So I got some, um, what is it called? It's a lemon cream cake. It is my favorite dessert at Olive Garden. If you have never tried it, I suggest you do. It's got like this weird cake, and then there's like this creamy, that's probably why it's called a lemon cream cake, but it's just, it's just really good and light, and it tastes good. Um, when I was pregnant with Wyatt, we went and 
watched my sister run the Indy Mini, which is like a half marathon in Indianapolis. And we went to Olive Garden the night before because you're supposed to like carbo load the night before you do a big like whatever. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so we went to have like, she had pasta and whatever. And I ordered one of these for the ride home and they didn't give me a to go like fork. So here I am like 38 weeks pregnant and I really wanted this cake. So I ate it with my fingers. <laughs> so John made sure to get me a fork this time. So it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like eating it. Oh, I am like eating it. Eating in the car. I am like eating it in the car. In front of everyone. Mm-hmm. They're all gonna be mad at you. So we are on our way to Target. We have an hour before we have to go pick up the kids. There's this dry erase board and erase markers that I wanna get. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Sam has them and they're really oh. cute. And you can't order them online. You have Sam. to get them in store. John's mad at you, Sam. Uh. <laughs> so um, we're going to just go and like, I don't know. We're just enjoying a nice day without having kids. Like it's really, even if it's just a few hours, like it does wonders for you. If you, if you, if you have kids, you know what a difference it makes. Like just having a little bit of a break from your children. Ooh, what am I going to pick? Oh, I don't know. Are you going to pick the Korean place? I don't know. How old are you, John? 39. You told the waitress who was 40. I'm almost 40. No, 40. You can't say you're 40 when you're in your 30s, though. So. I figure I'm just 40 now. I'm just going to accept it for the next year. That way, when it hits, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big of a deal, period, because you're a dude. No, it, it matters. No, it does not. Age does not matter when it comes to guys. Age matters for women, not for men. Because they just get more no. distinguished. It and matters. They think it matters. I don't think, I don't think it, matters. it matters. Anyways, but yeah, John's 39. I don't feel 30. Run and jump like I used to. Well, either can I, and I'm only 27. <laughs> That's what having three kids do does. Oh, you could still if you want. Actually, you're probably one of your like you're in your like peak right now. I am not in my peak. The fact Physical? that I have to cross my legs no. when I laugh with it so that I don't pee myself that is not my peak. You're the strongest <laughs> in your mid late 20s early 30s is when you like become okay but i think that's when like as a human you're like the strongest that may be true for people who haven't had three kids before that age because your meant your mental capacity catches up with like your physical ability and you can like push some things you could never push okay but once again that's different because i've had three children like seriously the things that are the kids Mm -hmm. did anything what do you mean you think the kids did anything like ruined things Oh, they totally destroyed my body. I have a tail now, guys. Like an uh, actual tail that sticks out of my behind. Oh, so I have on the tail. I have a tail. I pee when I laugh too hard or I cough too hard. I have to like cross what my does legs. What does that have to do with running? No, it has to do with having three <laughs> kids and my body changing. Let's it's see, what else? My boobs are a little bit... Well, they're just a little bit now. They're nothing anymore. <laughs> they're nothing anymore. That's what else? Nice. Um... My hair at least came back. But yeah, having three kids changes your body. I am not at my peak anymore. I think my peak was when I was in high school and like running around playing soccer and really active. Like, I know I can get back that activeness, but my body still has been forever changed because I've had kids. So do not have kids until you're ready, guys. Don't do it. No, just don't have them. Just don't, just, just don't have them. No, we love our children, but it's, it's, it, it changes stuff though. It definitely changes stuff. Why would you want to go to Texas Roadhouse? Because then we can have steaks. Well, I love, I love steak. Yeah, and you also like the cake. I do love poop. What? <laughs> I'm gonna get more school. Should be down this aisle somewhere. Like home and office? No. Aha! She had this really. Two or three of these already. No, that one. She had, it's like a cool meal planning oh. one. So then I can write down the meals for the uh-huh. week. And then you'll know. What to make. So that, yeah. And then I wanted oh, these. Tommy and soccer bro. Wait, why is this $3.99 and those are three? Oh, one's four. This is on the wrong rack. Why is that my camera focusing? Oh, look, my nail polish matches the top one. Yay! This nail polish is in my March favorites, which I still need to record. <sighs> Oh, but I want the magnet clippy things. They're too big. I mean, I like the magnet. That would be nice, but where would we put it? Is it magnetic? No. I don't know. It says that it was real felt surface. Can I ask who actually like uses one of those? The big magnet. People, people older that are people. Old that can't see anymore. 
Yeah, I guess. Even if they wear glasses, it's still hard for them to see. Oh, sometimes. kill me now. <laughs> it's happening. Trust me. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. One day we will be uh, buying it. <gasps> Lisa! Look! It's Superman. <laughs> He's a bank slash alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is this is on clearance. Who wouldn't want this? Silly. Oh, these are on clearance. These are cute. Ninety cents. They're straw mustaches. Ninety cents. I feel like I should just get these because they're only ninety cents and they're straws. No. Why do you do toothbrush, Don? I love buying new toothbrushes. I need a new toothbrush. Do you need a new toothbrush, John? They're all on clearance. I need a new toothbrush. My um, color is disappearing, and that's, I guess, a sign that you need a new one? What? No, I don't like those. You... I... Yeah, now it's recording. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying was don't avoid the dentist because John and I avoided the dentist both for over a decade and then we had to have these deep root canal cleanings done and they were really painful and expensive and then we had to do them in two sessions. It was terrible. So go to the dentist. Terrible. Terrible. I used to listen to Dave Matthews Band all the time in the summer. I go out and play some frisbee golf, or frolf as some people call it. Yeah, I was a bit of a cliche back in the day. We are done at Target. I got um, something for the giveaway. Towel wraps, or hair wraps, I guess that's what it's called. They didn't have the color I wanted, so I got the next one that I thought would be kind of like, not gender neutral, neutral, but you know what I mean, like for some people who don't like pinks or don't like like, I don't know. It's just like a mint green. I hear that color's really in right now too. I don't know. Um, but if you guys didn't know, I'm collecting a bunch of stuff just here and there whenever I see it or I discover new things that either I love or the kids love. And I'm just going to keep collecting stuff until I have what I think is enough to do a um, giveaway. I asked on my Facebook fan page whether you guys would prefer doing me doing like a big giveaway like I normally do or split them up into like two prizes each and have like mini giveaways. And a lot of you guys responded back that you would rather have mini. Hopefully that will be in the next month. Like I said though, I like keep collecting stuff so I can't promise you how soon that will be. But. I'm excited. It's warm enough for me to finally wear my Vibrams. Um, if you followed me two years ago when I first started vlogging, I had a blue, well I still have them. I have a blue and tan, or blue and gray pair. Um, they're really nice. They're like, they're called Five Fingers Vibram. I believe like Reebok or some other type of company came out with a version themselves. But these are the original Five Finger Toes and they're just super comfortable. I have really flat feet and they just, my back feels really good with them so I've been wearing them for about three years now and then just last fall when I went out and visited Lisa and Bill they got me this pair for my birthday which I thought was just so sweet but since I did get them in October I didn't really have a long time to be able to wear them since it got cold really quickly so I'm finally able to break them out and wear them a bunch so I like them. So we are at the park and guys is super excited. <laughs> So is Wyatt. Wyatt's full of beans, excited. Hey Wyatt, can you stay over here right now? We will come over there in a second. Now come over here first. Come over here, Wyatt, and then we'll go over there. We will. Oh, compromising with a four-year-old, all three-year-old, almost four-year-old. Good job, Wyatt. Way to change gears. You want to swing, Kaya? Swing. Yeah. You watch her, I'll watch you. Come here, let's swing. Jungle gyms are always terrifying to me. 
especially with Wyatt the age he is, because you have to keep like constant like watch on him so he doesn't fall off some opening. Oh, it terrifies me. Uh oh, Kaya fell. You okay? you okay? What's wrong? Oh, you got dirt on your hand? Yeah, there you go. All better. You got dirt? Okay, you're all better. <laughs> Watch out for deer poop. Kaya is seriously loving this freedom of just walking. She loves it. We're going to walk a little bit and then we're going to meet my parents for uh, dinner at this Thai place by our house for John's birthday. And then we'll go home and put the kids to bed. And hopefully they'll be super tired from this walk and playground excursion. It's so nice to get out. I already... Hi! Oh, she wants to say hi. You want to say hi? She hasn't said hi. Say hi! Are we going on a walk? Are we walking? Walk. Walk. <laughs> her vocabulary has gotten like crazy big. She says all these words and you can actually understand her. Oops. I'm sitting right here. Yeah, well, scoot we your think. bums over then because I need to sit. Yeah, you're I a little bit. Squeeze the squeaker. Alright, there's nothing in there yet. We gotta get something to put in there. has vegetable tempura and cucumber salad. This is the only like, I don't know, it was the only thing that I could find that was for her. She's really digging that cucumber salad. And then why is eating the satay chicken? Is it good? Mm -hmm. And then, oh, <laughs> and we're st <laughs> still waiting for our food, but Kaya really likes that cucumber salad. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is that good pad thai? So I am getting the kids ready for their bath. Um, is that hot? <laughs> it's still my coat on. I'm freezing. Everybody in our my family is way your sock is still on. What? It's so like warm blooded. I'm like cold all the time. So I haven't even taken my coat off since we got home from dinner. Um, we just spent the last hour watching my mom's slideshow. She went to Africa for the last two weeks, and she um, wanted to show us her pictures that she took. So we got to see a bunch of zebras and elephants and gazelles and stuff like that. Um, but I'm like freezing. So we're going to give the kids baths and then put them to bed. And I think I'm going to do a face mask as usual. Um, and probably take a shower. Because that's easier to take a shower at night. Not that you guys care or anything. But I'm going to get the kids bathed up. Dada. What are you doing? Dada. Dada? Dada. Who am I? Who is Dada. this? Dada. So John and I are sitting here, John's playing on his phone, so was I. Kaya's kind of falling asleep, but she's kind of not. She's moving around a little bit. I'm debating whether or not I want to take a shower. I know I probably should. Well, I don't have to. Are you going to sniff me? <laughs> I took a shower last night. I just, I love the feeling after I'm done taking a shower. I just hate getting the gumption to get up and <laughs> the shower you actually don't smell like anything no i don't ever really smell my hair ends up Your smelling hair smells weird yeah when i well it doesn't it, smell bad. It just no smells it just smells like, like dirty hair like you like dipped it in a mud puddle or something and let it dry it just well you guys know <laughs> that's why you use dry shampoo because your hair and tends and to smell dry. after a few days so like especially after i wear a hat i like wearing hats so like after like three days if I haven't showered John will say something about my hair like my body never had really smells but anyways so I need to take it well, I don't need to I want to take a shower I just am really lazy and I'm trying to like get the motivation to get up and go in the shower and I want to do a sheet mask but John's showing me something on his phone why is that so close to my face I don't want to um but yeah like I say I always feel better after I do like a mask and shower and all of that it's just like getting the energy to go do it I'm so terrible um and I also really want pop tarts for some reason which luckily we have some downstairs miracle. what'd you say I said, mm, miracle yeah we have what you want. I know it is a miracle usually I'm craving something and we don't have it um 
actually my real craving is blueberry scones from Trader Joe's right now, but our Trader Joe's does not carry them. Sam actually sent me some that she baked and then like shipped to our house all the way from where she lives because she's the one who introduced me to them and now I want some and she sent me a picture earlier of herself having some and how I want some. But we have pop tarts so that'll do. But anyways, that's pretty much our night or our day. Well, half of our day I started vlogging around too, but I don't know. Maybe I'll vlog tomorrow. Maybe not. I definitely need to film my March favorites and yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go, and I will vlog sometime soon. Bye. Hmm? It just says to say bye. What is that? Deep sea. Okay, we'll say bye. 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 Deep sea. Ew, what is that? Oh, that's weird. <laughs>